Hey guys, Spectre here. Welcome back to some Dead by Daylight. Um, I'm just decided because obviously the prestige system now there's more incentive to just play one survivor. How I used to go along with how many times I went through Jake's blood web. If they'd have given me the actual prestige, I'd have been like prestige probably fucking thirty or forty, maybe even higher. I don't know. Um, I didn't start playing these till later on at the an insistent request of my viewers on Twitch at the time. Because I was just switching out like one perk and playing a few different survivors where I should have just continued playing Jake. And basically I only played a survivor to like unlock the three perks. As you would have done normally. Um, like they're three teachable perks in case there was one that you wanted that's really good. For some reason it's given me a prestige 9 on Bill. I'll just show you guys something now, how weird this is. Right? So, Bill's perks. I have got no items for Bill. I've never played him. I just got his teachables, and that was it. So I don't know why they've given me Prestige 9 on Bill. They've given him a higher prestige than any of my other survivors. I never play the guy. I've played Meg more than I've played Bill. I don't get it. It's weird. So, from this point forward, especially since my thumbnails on YouTube have all got Jake on the front, because he's my main boy, I'll be just playing Jake. I might try some different cosmetics on him from time to time, but I'll be just playing Jake. And then I can put all the points into him. But I don't know what they've done with this. Oh, I haven't got a clue. Not a clue. Uh, the Iron Will, I long for my Iron Will to be back to how it was. I forget with these shard things, can't you trade these in for black blood points or something? I don't remember, been that long since I played. And also, if you guys are new around here, could you please drop me a sub? Um, help me uh, get on the YouTube Partner Program. I'm trying to get towards it at the moment. Um, I'm well over the watch time I was required, which is 4,000. I'm at, I'm close to 5,000, I am to 4. And I just need to get basically 1,000 subs. And with how many viewers I have on a monthly basis, if even a third of you subscribed, I'd be on the partner program. I'd be actually 300 over the partner program requirements, which is a thousand. Because I, I, on average, get between um, three and 6,000 unique viewers every month. Obviously it varies depending on how many are watching the given month, but it gives you a good um, idea. See, I'd, I'd be probably between these two in prestige if they'd have got all my blood webs that I'd done in the past. I'd be I'd be above that, definitely. So I'd probably be in between 30 and 40. With how many times I'd gone through Jake's blood web. Because until my viewers on Twitch started bothering me to play other survivors, even though, as I said, a survivor is just a skin. You're just changing the skin of the survivor. It's not like killers who've got different powers. Um. I only used to play Jake. I played Jake for years. So chances are I'd probably be closer to this if not over it. <sighs> 
see if we get a good game. It's always the downside with um, DVD. See if you get a good game. If you get a team that actually, you know, plays well, and the killer's not too over the top and putting on all dirty fucking like purple add-ons all fucking time. Alright. Facing the Skull Merchant. Is that that chick? See, I've not played against her either. She's a new killer to me. I've not played her. I do not know what she does. I don't know if this chick is a stealth killer or not, I ain't got a clue. Oh, never mind. Killer's over there. One of the many reasons I love empathy. Now, admittedly, they've got that little chase thing on now, which is pretty good. Because it shows you who the killer's chasing. But, obviously, if there's two survivors in the vicinity, it shows them both being chased. You know which one actually is chasing. Kill you, woman. I'm exposed. <laughs> the hell is that thing? Fuck, never mind. I'm down in one hit? Okay. I don't understand this killer. So I've got no idea what the fuck's going on. This killer must have got some dirty add-ons on or something. I don't know what this is. So far not liking this killer. I don't understand it though. I don't understand the killer. It's got little robot things that fly around. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh 
Oh, come on! So she not only is a pain in the ass of a killer, she's also a tunneler. Could have gone for the other person, but no, let's tunnel the guy who just got off the fucking hook, literally. One of those kind of players, are we? Will you fucking leave me alone? Jesus, this killer's a fucking dick. I want to be able to heal myself. Fuck off. Oh, for fuck me. Where I go, this fucking killer is. the shit out of me. Why is she fucking camping the main goddamn building? Why am I fucking being harassed by this killer all the time? Fuck me, I can't even get a heal off. I bet nobody escapes from Wiggle anymore. So she tells me straight off the fucking hook. Alright. Stage 2 already, she didn't even bother to try and get down anybody else. Can somebody come and get me off this fucking hook? This is what I hate about random survivors, I really do. Save me before the tunneling bitch comes back. Killer shouldn't be chasing the guy who just got off the fucking hook. Defeats the point in being a skilled goddamn killer. Go and chase one of the other fucking survivors. Will you get me off the hook? Don't just stand there, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Fucking imbecile. Right, and I swear to God, if she fucking chases me again. I want to fucking be able to heal myself. Are you gonna actually fucking heal me? <laughs> fucking dickhead fucking killers like, oh no, I know. Just tell her you off the hook. I then got away, then somebody led around the building and she's like, oh I can hear someone up there crying. Cause the survivors make so much fucking noise. I would now like to do a fucking generator. Not be harassed by this fuckwit of a killer. Fucking hell. The survivor's doing something. Oh, 
Please don't bring it here. So we almost had one gender at the start and it's like... Here then, isn't she again? She's got to be inside the building. The basement's in the main building as well, so getting that generator done is a good one to have. He's dead. this thing. Oh, bollocks. I don't know what you do with that fucking thing. <clears throat> Can I destroy his little crappy drone thing? I need a gen. No gins round here, there's no lockers round here. What the fuck is round here? Yeah. yeah. One woman. I couldn't see me there. I don't know what you do with these things.
She saw me. <laughs> I don't know the fuck I'm, I can go in. The hatch could be fucking anywhere. Just let it kill me. I don't like that system at all. That new that new wiggle system is absolute trash. I like how she didn't tunnel any of the others, but she tunneled me. Love how that fucking works. for a good one. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't get her thing. So it says you can hack drones. I couldn't hack that drone that I went near. Okay. Maybe there's like a thing to it. I don't really know how, how that killer works. It's a new one on me. But um, another DVD video. That's pretty much how they're going to be in terms of like your survival. You're not going to get many where you escape because that's how killers are these days. And especially not when you've got three console players. Although, admittedly, one of them was actually very good. But the other two, yeah. I just don't know what to do against that killer. I need to learn more about that killer. Same as any of the others that I might encounter. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, please drop a sub. Help grow the channel. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, everyone.